Have you ever wondered how the giants of aviation, the Boeing 747 and the Airbus A380, rose to fame and then fell from grace? These are not just aircraft, but icons that symbolize an era of air travel where bigger was better. The Boeing 747, fondly known as the Jumbo Jet, first graced our skies in 1969. It was a marvel of its time, boasting a double-decker design and a hump that became its signature. The world watched in awe as it dwarfed every other aircraft on the runway. Fast forward to 2007, Airbus unveiled its masterpiece, the A380. Billed as the world's largest passenger airliner, it took the aviation world by storm. Its sheer size and luxury, from spacious cabins to onboard showers, redefined what passengers could expect from long-haul flights. Both these aircraft changed the face of international travel, making the world a smaller place. But as we know, all good things come to an end. So, what led to the decline of these sky giants? The Boeing 747, or as we know it, the Queen of the Skies, was a game-changer in its time. This majestic behemoth, with its unmistakable humpback design and four roaring engines, forever altered the landscape of commercial aviation. The 747 was a symbol of ambition and human ingenuity, a testament to our desire to connect the world and bring people closer together. In its golden years the Queen ruled the skies, ferrying millions across continents and oceans. It revolutionized long-haul travel, making it possible for more people to explore far-flung corners of the globe. The 747 was an icon, a beacon of prosperity and progress. But as the years wore on, the Queen began to face challenges. Rising fuel costs made operating these four-engine giants increasingly expensive. Newer, more efficient aircraft began to enter the scene, offering airlines a more economical alternative. The aviation industry started to shift, favoring point-to-point -point travel over the traditional hub-and-spoke model that the 747 was designed for. These changing market dynamics proved to be a significant hurdle for the Queen. Slowly but surely, the 747 began to lose its dominance. Airlines started retiring their 747 fleets, favoring more fuel-efficient twin-engine jets. The Queen's reign, though significant, had to come to an end. But what about the King? Enter the Airbus A380, the King of the Skies, an aircraft that was supposed to take over the 747's throne. This double-decker behemoth was an audacious bet in the world of aviation, a bet that was supposed to reshape the very way we fly. With its two full-length decks and a seating capacity that could stretch to over 800 passengers, the A380 was a marvel of engineering and design, promising unparalleled comfort and luxury in the skies. The A380 was heralded as the future of aviation, a future where air travel would be a grand affair, reminiscent of the golden age of flying. With spacious cabins, quieter engines, and a smoother ride, the A380 wasn't just an airplane, it was a flying palace. However, the A380 had its share of turbulence. The very factors that made it a marvel also made it a challenge to operate. High operating costs, coupled with its lack of flexibility, made it a difficult proposition for many airlines. The A380 was a giant that needed giant airports, and the shift towards point-to-point -point travel made it less appealing. Furthermore, the A380's early retirement was a surprise to many. After just over a decade in service, the last A380 was delivered in 2021, a stark contrast to the 747's half-century reign. So the king, despite being arguably better, fell sooner than expected. So, what can we learn from the rise and fall of these aviation giants? The Boeing 747 and the Airbus A380 both reigned as the queens and kings of the skies in their prime, revolutionizing the aviation industry with their unprecedented size and capacity. The 747 with its iconic hump and four engines held the crown a little longer, but the A380 with its double-deck and four-engine design showcased how far technology could push the boundaries. However, their reign wasn't meant to last forever. Factors like changing market trends, economic fluctuations and advancements in fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft contributed to their decline. It's a cycle of rise and fall, a reminder that even the most colossal of giants must bow to the inevitable tide of change. In the end, the story of the 747 and A380 is a testament to the ever-evolving nature of the aviation industry where change is the only constant.